Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to Foundation where it is a very wet and dreary day as we are coming to the end of another storm. And what better thing to ward off storms than a little bit of monastery action. Yep, today we are hopping in and we are going to be building our monastery in this large green foresty area that's over here. Now, I'm going to be setting it up and we're going to start getting it built, but I'm not going to lie, I honestly don't think that the whole thing is going to get done at once. Just just being honest because it's going to be quite large. So, I'm going to come over here. I think it's under administration and monastery and put the peg down. And here we go. It's time to do some stuff. So first things first, we need monk dorms. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and build myself a little bit of a monk dorm. I'm get a rustic hall in here. It's going to be hard to see because it's up in the trees up on this hill. Nice rustic hall, nice and stoned out there. It's going to take a lot of regular stone, which is good, and some tools. No biggie. Let's grab a nice doorway and put it right there. And then I make rustic quarters major. Rustic, let's do a rustic quarters major here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this over here on the side if I can. No, you don't like the side? Oh, yeah, you do. Okay. It was just something weird about right there. There we go. We got that. All right. And then we can do a nice tower over here as well. Let's put it in the back. And then let's go ahead and rise that up just a wee bit. Very good. Actually, you know what? That's not a bell tower. That's just a rustic tower. Let me get rid of that, and let me put a bell tower on here. Because you guys know how much I like me some bell towers on my churches. There we go. We also have a nice facade, a rustic facade that's on here. That if I just go like that, that looks really good. All right. Very good. I'm going to go ahead and click off of this, but still click in here. So that way I can scroll up and build a different... Part of the church. If you'll let me. Where's my little peg? There it is. There it is. Edit building. Select function. None dorms. Okay. And I'm actually going to attach another hall right on the side. Like that. And let's do a rustic quarters minor. Let's coming off of the front here. Doesn't look too bad. And then we'll give it a little side entrance that's over here. Giving them a nice little area to come in right there. So that's this main building that we have there. So that gives us a couple rooms. Very good. Uh, let's go back over here again. And we are going to get the chapel itself. And the chapel is not actually going to be attached to the dorms. I'm going to use this nice wooden rustic wooden hall that's here. Do I want to do that or do I want to go for it? Let's go, let's go for another stone hall there. I'm going to put it there. Too far. There we go. And now let's go with a rustic gate minor. And we're going to put that right there. And I'm going to put up... Actually, if I can, I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to put up two of these. There we go. And another one. This is going to become a very, very, very expensive building to place. But you know what? That's okay. So there's there's part of the chapel. And I'm going to do a rustic gallery on this on one side. There we go. And then a, it's got bell towers on already, so it doesn't really need it. So I'm going to go for another rustic gallery, if I can, on this side. Now, this, at the end of the day is all going to start getting revamped in the future when I start unlocking a lot of the other that can be added to this here. So let's see here. Let me click off again here. There we go. We have the Mosaic Scriptorium produces manuscripts and then the Mosaic Garden place that grows herbs and stuff. We're going to grab a, a planter and I'm going to put down one, two, three, Four and five. Then I'm gonna grab the berries planter. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and five. Here we are. That gets that done there. So that's a lot of herbs and stuff that's able to be grown there. And then finally I'm gonna come back over here again. 
And I'm going to go... I Do I really... I need to research manuscripts first, actually, before I can do this. So that's that That room's actually not going to happen. Okay, I'm going to go build here, and it just built everything that we just did that. And then I'll have to start actually devoting people over here. But this is going to be a very expensive building for me to build. I need polished stone. I need 61 tools. I actually already have most of the planks. I have almost all the stone. And I have more than enough wood in order to build this out. It's just going to take quite a while for us to do that. So what I'm going to do in the meteory is... Oh no, I missed out on a villager. Ah, dang it. It's all right. It's all right. Um, honestly, I don't remember what all this is going to give me when it comes 24. That's actually going to help a lot for the clergy influence, actually. That will help a lot now that I'm looking at it. So, it might actually be a good thing. Now, while that's being built, let's check into a couple other things around the town. Yeah, because see, like, mosaic rustic decorative, being able to put up benches and statues and stuff like that. Oh, that's important. We also have architecture, which is going to give me graves and stuff like that. Uh, that helps a lot some. Oh, that's actually nice. Um, maybe I'll get that at some point. Then I could put up small stone walls around it as well to make it safe. Um, but then you can start getting into like modest and then um, super modest stuff. So you can start getting like a bunch of marble put up in your monastery. And then you can get the Abashal Church um, later on and these decorative things, which will help with, you know, getting that super church going. But for now, we don't have any of that. And we can start getting into some of these other things like dairy farming or a cooperage or some common goods, this hunting or even just standard decorative, which I've thought about doing because it increases the the desirability of an area and honestly my village is not very desirable right now not gonna lie it's kind of ugly it is kind of ugly and i have more than enough money i'm gonna go ahead and buy that okay just gonna go go ahead and say it i'm gonna buy that i'm gonna have a bunch of money coming in actually because i'm selling gold now i'm mining gold purely to sell it so i knew that that was going to be easy money for me so that was easy for me to grab uh luxury goods mm, i don't really have any luxury goods yet i could get luxury goods luxury goods is gonna be like necklaces and stuff like that um yeah see jewelry jewelry are a luxury good candles are a luxury good um unlock stone bridge stone bridge would be nice we have a new person, so we're going to go ahead and grab them really quick. Speaking of new people, how's our military doing? Almost fully trained. Now, you guys did leave me a couple comments and some things that I did. So first of all, you guys said, Sim, get more training dummies. So I got more training dummies. Um, I do want to get the kingdom here. Let's see, what am I missing? I need five rating. I need to get my rating up so that way I can get military fort splendor and stone ramparts so that way I can build up the stone outside and then hopefully uh, military fort decorative um, so that way I can start building up my fort a little bit to look a little bit better. Honestly, it doesn't help that much other than giving me a weaponsmith, but I have more than enough weapons. I went and did a couple of quests with my army. I did a couple of these train Northbury quests, right? And... They gave me swords upon completing it. They did. So if I was to go here again and grab my fully trained troops, say like this one here, this one here. Um, you know what? Let's grab this guy and this guy. Right? I'm gonna send over four soldier, five, four or five soldiers here. Right? That's a ton of soldiers that I'm sending right now. I'm only gonna send send fully trained troops. I don't want to send anybody that's only partially trained. Mostly trained is okay. Yeah, so that looks good. That is six people that are going. They're all going to get some some experience. And I want them to level up. But that possible for spear rewards is really what I'm after right now. So I'm going to send all them off. And they're going to go do their thing. And they're going to do some battle. But while they're doing that, we're going to be training up more people. Now, 
How goes this over here? Actually, actually, it's coming together quite well. We may be losing a ton of inventory up here, but it's coming together actually pretty good. I may even start buying some stuff in order to get this, uh, in order to get this built a little bit quicker. Um, how many people? I have five people without jobs right now. Let me do this. I don't think my builders are building anything else. No access to food. Well, go home and get some then. Stop walking around and pretending like you don't have any. You got plenty over here. You got four bread and a sick five fish over here. We got 300 fish in total around our entire pay, uh, town. There's more than enough fish around. You got, you got other problems if you're having problems finding food. Okay. Polished stone, though, is starting to suck. Let me come over here. Let me go into trading. I need to turn off a couple things that I'm trading. First things first, turn off... Oops. Turn off that. We don't want to trade berries anymore. Let's not trade fish anymore, either. Uh, common clothes? You know what? It's fine. Uh, planks? Don't sell those right now. Polished stone? Don't sell that right now. I need to hold on to that. Gold? Sell it all. Don't need it. Get rid of it. All of it. Be gone. Don't want it in my in my inventory. I got plenty of it. If I want gold, I'll mine it off my mine that's over here. I don't need any. So, we're going to leave that to do its thing for right now. Yeah, see, look at that trade. 504. We're making so much friggin' money right now that we should start going off and, and getting another zone and maybe building a whole nother... A whole nother town. Maybe we'll go through and build ourselves a whole monastery town. I'm going to buy this right here. I'm going to come over here like this. And I'm going to put up a couple different things. I'll put up a wheat farm. Okay. Build that. I'm going to put up a builder's workshop over here. I'm going to go ahead and build that. I'm going to take some residential paint. And I'm going to paint all of this. Right? There we go. Very good. Because they can go to church at the monastery, I believe. Um, I'm going to go ahead. And assign people to work over here. I'm going to build a well over here because wouldn't you know it, people like wells. Um, that takes 20 tools in order to build a sheep statue. You gotta be spanking me. That's what you gotta be doing right now. You gotta just be straight up spanking me. Anyway, uh, a little bit of a build, a little bit of an archway there. Put another archway right here. They're walking over it. They can enjoy the beautification of it. Now, like I said, going to need a well. That is going to be right... Nah. Put that down right there. There we go. I'm going to leave that over there. Some people will probably move over there. Desirability is going to be pretty high. Better days coming. Fantastic. Look at that. Look at that. I can have 20 people come in and visit this right now. Very, very, very nifty. That's what's going on. We're actually putting a ton of progress in on this. Good thing we're at times three speed. Um, once we actually have the quarters built, because right now we don't have any of the quarters built. Once we have some of the quarters built, I will devote people to the church. But right now I don't have any. Here we are coming to the end of the building of our monastery. Now, this isn't, like I said, the end of what the monastery is going to look like. This is just a very good show of what the start of it is going to be. We've pretty much got almost all of our plants planted over here. We're missing one berry bush that's going to end up going right down here. And they're finishing up the last of the construction on the nun dorms over here so that way we could start getting more 
occupants over here. They also do need to finish up this end of building of, well, these wall things that are over here to give me lots and lots and lots of bells. I want, if you walk through the monastery, to have so many bells going at one time that you're like, Man, there's a lot of bells going on over here. I wonder why there's so many bells. That's how many bells I want. If there's not that many bells, we don't have enough ringing going on. So yeah, we're pretty much there. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and start devouring a couple, devoting a couple more people uh, if I can. I can't actually do any female villagers right now. I don't, I don't have any. So I'm going to go ahead and get four male, non male, uh, what are they? Um, monks to work here. There we go. The mosaic gardens have been built. And honestly, all that's left right now is this building that's right here. And boom. Just like that. The monastery itself is now built. Like I said that I wanted to do in this video. I think that this is fantastic so far. We made some absolutely phenomenal progress. We also did go ahead and send out our troops on another little mission for themselves to go out and do. Everybody is fully trained now, so everybody is very, very strong. I think it's time for us to go through and start doing some missions that are going to be a little bit more difficult. Like this noble liberation. This noble liberation is going to give us jewelry, gems, gold coins, unique rewards, wine, things like that. Uh, I think that it might be time for us to do that. We can also do uh, capture a company. That's going to give us sword and spear rewards, but I don't think we're quite ready for that yet. I'm going to go ahead and try this average. And I'm going to go ahead and prepare my troops, and I'm going to send everybody. We're already at high. Now we're at extreme because of all the people that we have. We're sending all 10 of our soldiers that are fully trained off to do that mission. And with us having such a massive monastery now sadly the monastery only gets um 20 people to come to this at a time actually it can get 40 because of the two side pieces so yeah it can get 40 and the people who live over here get to be able to go over and access that now their desirability is kind of low also i can put some people over here i don't have any more we need some more people is what we need okay well at least while i'm here at least while i'm here i'll keep go ahead and paint a little bit of a crop field there we go now they can go ahead and crop out if they want to. Now, I keep getting this note that says uh, villagers are finding it hard to find space to live. It's because they want to live right over here. They really, really, really want to live right over here. So you know what? Fine. You guys can go live right over here. For some reason, this is not close enough. They really want to live right here because I have this whole area this whole area which the desirability is actually really high then this whole area up here as well and yet still they don't want to go and live over there i don't get it it doesn't make sense to me but hey it's what they want to do so i'm gonna let them do their thing did i get any female villagers there you go now we officially have our first nun so we have five four monks and five nuns this means we have Five out of 33 occupants living in our monastery that's going to go ahead and start producing out berries and herbs for us herbs can be sold or given to people in order to make them healthy berries well guess what they're food that we can use to give out for when we are running low i did end up buying this area here so that way i can go through and build up up here because i thought maybe they'll build houses over here or maybe they'll build houses over here or maybe down in this area or maybe over now in this area or possibly all the way over here if they'll actually start building houses but it doesn't look like that they're quite ready to start doing that yet what i would like to do to wrap up this video is i would like to go through and put down a couple of other things um like this fountain technically gives me 25 um 25 beautification so i'm gonna go ahead and build that that should really help with this with this housing tier actually there is one other thing we probably should do just saying probably should do it haven't done it in a little while let me go over let me look at my mandates here let me go up and promote some villagers and let me check my my ooh ooh i could uh 
promote to brother and sisters, but they would need a cloister. But I need manuscripts in order to do that. And I haven't researched manuscripts yet. And I have no soldiers that are ready for promotion either. But what I do have is a bunch of serfs who are ready to be promoted. So I'm going to go ahead and anybody who's at 100% happiness, they're getting promoted. They're getting that promo. Congratulations for being so happy. You get yourself a little promotion because of it. Then we'll grab some of these people who are at 95 and we'll just give them a little promotion too. There we go. That's a lot of promotions right there. All right. That's seriously going to help out our taxes like a lot. Once they're actually in there and they're happy and they're paying their taxes, they're going to they're going to get a lot. Uh, as for housing being inefficient, look y'all, you you can go through and you can build yourself some housing, okay? There is more than enough housing spread all around. We got more than enough builders. More than enough room for, for housing. More than enough desirability. Y'all can go through and build it up yourself. You don't need me to go through and start putting out where you need to put all your houses, alright? Look, you literally got one that's right there. Just go ahead and get that built and you'll all be happier. I am out of money. Wow. I went from 900 gold to negative 17 really, really fast. That was insane. We so we just have to wait to trade some gold. There we go, traded some gold, and now we uh, now we have money again. But I think this is probably where we're gonna leave this one, guys. I know that these videos are a little bit shorter, but we're making some decent progress. Honestly, this video took me a little over an hour to record while I was waiting for um, this monastery to get built. But now that it's built, it looks great. It looks absolutely great. Once I get the trees wiped out from over here too, it's gonna look even better. It's gonna look even better. But, like I said, this is where I'm going to leave this one. So thank you everybody so much for watching this video. Hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to me. Hit the comment down below. All my little villagers want to hear what you guys are thinking. So let me know down in those comments. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.